Welcome to Management Series by Oluwole Dada. I'm speaking on managing obstacles, overcoming adversity, and driving in uncertainty. The world has experienced in the last three years a traumatic, devastating, unpredictable, and trying times. A year ago, many of us could not sit like this without having something like a net or clothes on our nose, which we ordinarily call face mask. So somebody still having it. It's as a result of the events of the last three years. Before now, there have been trying times. COVID in 2019 led to the shutting down of one of the largest economies in the world, China precisely. After US, you have China. Of course, US was shut down. But China produces over 20 to 25 percent of the world's goods. And so China was shut down. And the whole world followed suit. That led to some of the things we are seeing today, inflation rising beyond what we could accommodate. Today Nigeria is over 20%. Ghana is over is 40% as at the last count. US reached the highest inflation in 40 years in June. That was 9%. They've come down to 6-7% now. UK is on 11%. So the whole world is lining a lot of terrible moments, uncertain moments. And that is why we need to sit down, review, and devise how do we survive in the coming years. There is what you call VUCA. Some of you may have heard it before. Meaning volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. So the world today is volatile with unstable challenges. Uncertain with unknown outcomes, complex with many interconnected parts, ambiguous with lack of clarity. That is the world we have today. Very volatile. You can't predict what will happen next. As a result of COVID, the world and leading to a shutdown. Shipping cost from New York to Shanghai used to be $2,500. It went as high as $15,000. That is to tell you the level of volatility and uncertainty in the world. If you have a Ghanaian friend, please sympathize with them. It's a challenging moment for them. Now, it's not that Nigeria is not having its own experience, but we are far better. But despite this, we need to plan as we move into the new year. So the whole world is very volatile, quite uncertain, so complex and ambiguous. You have famous companies going bankrupt or acquired. Only 11% of the Fortune 500 companies from 1955 are still on the list today. That means the remaining 89% are either shut down or taken over. Average lifespan of an S&P company has decreased from 67 years to 15 years. 
So companies need to understand what will make them sustainable. Individuals need to know what will keep me relevant, even in your organization. And here is an area to work. Business is business. The day you are no longer relevant to your organization, you may be shown the way out. It's not about friendship. So how do you keep yourself relevant in your organization that you keep afloat irrespective of the challenges? Individuals need to be on top of their game. Companies need to be strong and get stronger because competition is coming in. And you need to know what to do to remain strong and end out competition. Now, hear what Peter Drucker said. The greatest danger in terms of turbulence is not the turbulence, it is to act with yesterday's logic. I will want to cause an opera. I would have had many of us. How many books did you read this year? If you are depending on what you know yesterday to function in your office, you will soon be out of the game. And this thing is not dependent on sexes, male or female. No. So don't say he's a man, he has more time. So, as voracious as your male friends are reading books, you must be on the same level. I may be challenged to you, the female in this house. You must remain relevant by updating your knowledge. So Peter Drucker said, it's not about the turbulence itself. It's about using yesterday's logic to deal with today's challenges. Jack Welch, he says, if the rate of change outside exceeds the rate of change inside, the end is in sight. That is relevant both to companies and individuals. If things happening outside the organization are moving faster than the organization itself, the organization is on its way to shutting down. If changes around you, if knowledge is changing around you faster than the way you are acquiring knowledge, you will soon lose your relevance. So you must ensure that your rate of change internally, either as an organization or as an individual, is faster than the rate of change outside. Like I said earlier, three things escapate the already strained world. COVID in 2019, the blockade of the Swiss Canal, you know, Swiss Canal is is the canal behind Egypt, and then the vessel carrying over 20,000 containers blocked it. That was in March 2021. And as a result of that, that was that's a passage between Asia and Europe. And as a result of that, that canal could not, uh, there was no flow of traffic for like six days. And that particular vessel, that was that blocked the place was there for 110 days. Now it was carrying input materials for some other factories. So you can imagine for 110 days, those factories could not have their input materials. So the inflation you are seeing in the world today is as a result of all these things that are happening. COVID 2019, blockage of the Swiss Canal in 2021, and then to make it very, very bad. Putin says, no, this war, I will fight. And so February 2022, the Ukraine war started. Two of the raw materials being used to make chips, 
choose for payment cards, choose for SIM cards, choose for aeroplane cards, and so on, are found in Ukraine. Ukraine produce a good percentage of the grain in the world. So these things are responsible for many of the crises we have in the world today. Thank you for listening. Kindly subscribe, like, and share on our YouTube channel, Oluwole Dada. See you in the next series.